Wow, my body feels so light. This is a huge difference from earlier. I'm going to start a shoulder massage. What do you guys Oh, this feels so good. I was right. Huh? Misagawa? I feel something ominous from behind me. Did you go to another massage salon? Huh? No, I didn't. I already told you that I'd go to Iyashimacho if I had the time to go to a massage salon. Then did you have someone massage you or something? Someone other than me? Uh, no one's given me a massage either. Really? Yes, I'm finally done! Today's the day I've been waiting for! I'll be going now! Otsukaresa! Oh, he's already gone. Good evening! Welcome, Mr. Mitsuke. We were waiting for you. <sighs> She's so cute today as well. I'm Yuichi Mitsuke, 28. This massage salon has been the only thing I look forward to recently. I come here twice a month to receive a massage by this woman, Mika Agewa, 23. <laughs> you look tired again today. Ugh, I've been sitting at my desk all day and my body feels so stiff. Oh my, looks like I'm up for a challenge. I started coming here half a year ago. I stare at my computer for hours every day. Ugh, the painkillers wore off. I better stop by the pharmacy on my way home. Mitsuke Mike! Ugh, Tomonaga, that joke is so old, so stop. <laughs> huh. You've been drinking painkillers again? <sighs> yep. I've been getting these really painful headaches recently. You shouldn't drink too much of those, you know. Oh, I know. I found an amazing massage salon recently. You should go too. It's not one of those erotic massage salons, though. I wasn't expecting it to be one. My friend Tobinaga introduced me to a massage salon called Iyashi Macho. It's a massage salon that has its shop in an apartment room and accepts only customers with reservations. According to Tomonaga, the owner is a very macho person who gives surprisingly delicate massages. A macho massager, huh? Hope it doesn't hurt. Excuse me. Welcome. You're Mr. Mitsuke, right? What? A girl? Oh, she's so pretty, too. She doesn't look very macho to me. Um... Yes, I'm the person who made the reservation. All right, come in. Thank you for coming to our shop. There's the macho, so he must be the owner. You're Mr. Tomonaga's friend, right? Is it all right if we let her take care of your massage? Yes, of course. All right, I'll be your massage therapist for today. I'm Mika Agewa. I'm new here, so there are still plenty of things I don't know about, but I'll do my best. Yoroshiko Onigashimasu. Yep, Onigashimasu. She looks like an honest, hardworking person. Please lie face down. Okay. Let's begin. Wow, your muscles are so stiff. Do you do desk work? Yes, my job involves staring at a screen all day. She's small, but stronger than I expected. But it's not too strong either. Oh, that's the spot. How's that pressure? Perfect. I'm glad. All right, let's continue with the massage. Don't hesitate to tell me if there's anything you don't like. I've been to several massage salons before, but apparently my body's stiffness was quite the challenge for the massagers, and it never improved much. But the massage Miss Agawa gave me was better than anything I'd ever received before. That's it. Otsukeresama deshita. Thanks for the careful massage. Ooh, I feel so much better now. But it was so stiff that I wasn't able to fix it all in one session. I'm sorry. Oh, she's so cute. Can I make a reservation for next week as well? I'd love it if you'd be my massager again, too. Sure, I'll be waiting for you. Ever since then, I've been coming to Iyashi Macho once every two weeks, requesting Miss Agawa to be my massager. Are you busy with work? Yep, but it isn't the busy season yet, so I'm only going to get even busier from now. Wow, doesn't that make you feel demotivated or anything? Hmm, but I kind of enjoy my job, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I guess I do like my job. Oh, and seeing the new employees full of motivation after their training period makes me feel that I need to work hard myself. I like that way of thinking, Mr. Mitsuki. What? You like it? It, it means that I respect you. I want to become an adult like you, Mr. Mitsuki. Oh, I guess I already am an adult, though. <laughs> You're making me blush. 
I enjoyed talking with Miss Agua, and before I knew it, the massage was over. Here's your change. Your right shoulder was pretty stiff today, so I made sure to focus on that. Let's do the left shoulder during your next appointment so that it's balanced. You sound like a personal trainer. <laughs> what? You only say that now? I have a long-term plan of getting rid of all the stiffness in your body, you know. So don't cheat on me with some cheap massage salon, all right? I'll get mad if you do. Oh, that face. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry about it. If I have the time to go to massage salon, I'll go here. Thank you. See you in two weeks. We'll be waiting for you. Uh, not only does my body feel refreshed thanks to the massage, but my mind does also thanks to Miss Agua's smile. My work's been going well ever since I started going here, too. I'm so thankful that Tomonaga introduced me here. All right, bring it on. Two weeks passed, and I was on my way to the massage salon as usual when... <coughs> huh, a phone call. Hello? What? Oh, hey, Mitsuke. What's up? There's an emergency. <sighs> but I had a reservation at Yashimacho today. Ah, that sucks. I'll call them saying I have to cancel. Hello, this is Yashi Macho. It's Mitsuke. Oh, Mr. Mitsuke, what's the matter? There's an emergency with my family, so I won't be able to come today. Is a cancellation possible? I see, understood. How much is the cancellation fee? There's no cancellation fee. Shall I book you for another day? <sighs> I don't know my schedule right now, so I'll contact you again later. Understood. Well then, we look forward to your next visit. Yeah, I'm really sorry. <sighs> this sucks. The cancellation, huh? Oh, this sucks. A week passed after that, and I still hadn't gone to Iyashi Macho yet. <sighs> I wonder when I'll get a massage again. Both my mind and my body feel so stiff I might be at my limit. Hmm, that's... Miss Agawa, right? Oh, Mitsuke-san! Mike! <laughs> I wanted to say that joke at least once. Sorry, you must be sick of people saying that. No, it was hilarious! I'm dying of laughter! She's always wearing her uniform at the massage salon, so this is my first time seeing her in her regular clothes. Oh, she's so cute in these girly clothes. My soul feels refreshed already. Long time no see. I was a little worried since you haven't been coming recently. She was worried? Well, that kind of makes me happy. Oh, I want to go so much, but I just can't find the time. All right, come to my house then. Huh? Your house? I, I can't. Oh, do you already have an appointment? That's not what I meant. I can't just leave your body so stiff like this. Please, let me massage you at my house. Huh? I just went with it and we arrived at her apartment. Please, come in. No, this is a bit too irresponsible for me. Actually, I think I'll just make a reservation at the massage salon again. And when's that going to be? Um... Don't worry about me if that's what you're worried about. There's no way I can just let someone who needs to feel refreshed go home. I'm not going to do anything to you, so come in. You don't think that you're the one who should be worried? Why should I? She must have no survival instincts. All right, I'll take you up on your offer. There was a massage bed in her house. I massage my friends here as practice sometimes. I see. She must have worked hard to get so good at massaging. If you'll please lie down here. Oh, you don't have any other clothes. Are you all right with being massaged in your suit? Sure, let's start. Yes, let's begin. I feel kind of nervous since it's my first massage in a while. Wow, it's so stiff. Oh, wow. This feels so good, I might fall asleep. Huh? Is there a problem? Mr. Mitsuke, could it be that... Miss Age was saying something, but... Oh, I'm so sleepy. Mitsuke! Mr. Mitsuke! <sighs> oh, sorry! I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> you must have been really tired. The part where you have to lie down is over, so please sit on the bed. Okay. Wow, my body feels so light. This is a huge difference from earlier. I'm going to start a shoulder massage. Onigashimasu. Oh, this feels so good. I was right. 
Huh? Misagawa? I feel something ominous from behind me. Did you go to another massage salon? Huh? No, I didn't. I already told you that I'd go to Iyashimacho if I had the time to go to a massage salon. Then did you have someone massage you or something? Someone other than me? Uh, no one's given me a massage either. Really? I know every detail of your body, you know? I can see that someone else laid their hands on you. Laid their hands on me? Oh, wait a second. There was a reason I've been so busy recently. My sister was hospitalized, and my parents have been taking care of her son while she's in the hospital. I've been visiting my parents' house to help my mother this past week. My nephew is an extremely energetic child, and he jumps my back sometimes while I'm asleep. Oh, and he tries giving me headlocks sometimes as well. That must have been what you saw in my body or something. So you didn't go to another massage salon? I already told you. If I had the time to go to a massage salon, I would have gone to see you instead. S see me? Yes. Oh, damn it, was that impolite? <laughs> what? She doesn't look offended. In fact, she looks... Uh, I said that I wouldn't do anything when I came in, but I changed my mind. Could you let me do something? Yeah? Uh, I suddenly felt the urge to uh, give you a hug. Touch you as well and stuff. It's fine if you don't want that, of course. It, it's not like I don't want that. I, excuse me. Oh, she's so cute when she blushes. All right, bring it. <laughs> okay, here I come. Hey! We realized that we had feelings for each other, so we started going out. We stay at one of our houses every weekend. Today, I'm going to be staying at Mika's house. I want to make you feel refreshed as well, so I think we'll practice massaging. Okay, I'll be your practice partner. <laughs> For the massages I'm going to give you. <laughs> I'll turn around, so why don't you try giving me a shoulder massage? Sure. Hmm. Yuchi? Yeah! I can't help doing this instead. I thought you were going to practice massaging. Do you want me to massage you instead? <laughs> no, I like this better. That reminds me. One day, me and Tomonaga were talking and... Uh, you seem so energetic recently. What happened? <laughs> I got on good terms with the person of Iyashimacho. Oh, the person from Iyashimacho, huh? Wait, what? That's the massage salon I told you about, right? Yeah. With the person who works there? Yeah. You? Yeah. Good terms? Yeah. Uh, I'll always be your friend no matter what. Uh, bye! Oh, uh, thanks. Why did he panic so much? Apparently, only the matcha owner was there at the times Tomonaga would visit, and it took a long time before that misunderstanding was cleared. We're gonna be adopting remote work as well from now. We're currently getting the network prepared. You guys should probably start cleaning your houses. <laughs> Remote work, huh? I guess I'm glad I won't have to get on crowded trains every morning anymore. I'm Taiki Kunigami, 25. I'm a regular office worker. My work involves web design, so working from home shouldn't be a problem. I'm glad, because we won't have to wear makeup at home. Working from home will be so much easier. We still have online meetings, you know. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I'm jealous of you, Miss Yoyama, since you look good even without makeup. You're the prettiest person I've met up until now. Thank you. You're making me blush. Yep, it's just as Miss Momotani says. Her name is Benny Yaoyama, and she's 27 years old. She has an elegant beauty and a kind personality. Not only that, but she's extremely competent as well. You can tell God must have put extra effort when creating her. I'm a bit sad I won't be able to meet Miss Yaoyama anymore now that we're working from home. One month passed since then, and remote work started in earnest. We come to the office once a week, and we have a daily meeting online as well. That's it from the company. How's the deal going with B Corporations, Miss Yaoyama? Wow! It's mine! Mom! He took my toy! What? You had children, Miss Yaoyama? No, they're my sister's children. She's currently visiting us. Miss Yaoyama lives with her parents, huh? It must be hard having to work in her parents' house. Sorry, it's so loud. 
Ugh, no, no. Miss Mumbutani's cat has been blocking the camera the whole time, so don't worry about it. <laughs> he won't leave my desk. Wow, what a cute cat. The daily meeting finished, and I started working on my own stuff. The thing I'm currently working on is supposed to be checked by Miss Yaoyama. Please take a look. She always responds immediately in the company chat, but she's so slow replying to this email for some reason. It's fine since I'm not in a hurry though. I didn't get a reply from Miss Yaoyama that day. The next day, I opened my company computer and... Sorry for the late reply. I couldn't find the time since my house is currently so noisy. I think it would be more efficient if we talked about this over the phone. Does that sound alright? Alright! What? It looks like Miss Yaoyama sent me this email at 11pm. Was she working until then? Hello? Otsukari-sama desu. Otsukari-sama. Sorry about yesterday again. I even made an excuse, right? I'm ashamed of myself. It's alright. Miss Yaoyama sounds more tired than usual. It caught my attention, but she gave me precise and easy to understand instructions as usual after that. That's about it. Thank you. Ah, oh, someone's crying again. Sorry it's so loud. I closed the door, but it seems like it isn't enough. Was that why you were working late at night yesterday? Yes. It's much more productive working after they've gone to bed. But at this rate, I'm going to cause everyone at the company trouble. I'm going to find a co-working space soon. Those cost money, right? Why don't you come to my house? Huh? We live nearby, right? You can come here and work if you want. Wouldn't that be too much of a problem for you? I won't slack off as much if you're here, so it's a win-win. <laughs> if that's the case, then I'll take you up on your offer. It'll be a huge help. Miss Yaoyama started coming to my house from the next day. Ojama Shimasu. Welcome. Oh, I'm the one who invited her, but I'm getting nervous. I've never invited anyone before, so I hadn't noticed, but my room was small when two people were in it. Which means that only which means that not only are we alone together, but we were close as well. During online meetings, I wonder if it would be better if we kept the fact that we were in the same room hidden. Sure, I feel like the others are going to spread rumors if they see us together. I'll move over there. Miss Yaoyama used my desk, and I used the chair and the table I had for the meeting. Otsukere Samadesu. What? Did you move Miss Yaoyama? Your wallpaper is different. Miss Mobutani is so sharp. I'm just in a different room today. It's quieter here. Oh, I see. Whew, thank God she believed it. Once the meeting was over, the only sound in the room was us typing on our keyboards. Working with someone nearby is so much more efficient. Our work for the day is finished. Otsukari-sama, I got a lot more done today than usual. Thanks. Me too. Why don't we eat dinner together before you go home? I can't cook, so if Uder Eats is fine with you, then I'll order some. I can stay? Yeah. We don't have work tomorrow, so why don't we order some beer as well? This sounds great. This is my chance. This is my chance. This is my chance. Now that I think about it, it was our first time having dinner together like this. She talked about her mischievous but adorable nephews and about the manga she was currently reading. And before I knew it, it was already late. It's already this late, huh? I'll see you out. What? I think I'm drunk. Are you all right? Should I call a taxi? Mm, I don't remember my address, so even if you call a taxi... You got that drunk with just a single beer? I think you should relax for a bit before going. Let's call a taxi once you're a bit more sober. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any more sober tonight. What should we do then? Let me stay overnight. At my house? My makeup will fall off with soap, and I can go without skincare for a night, so it's not a problem. It's a problem for me! I only have one room. You see how Yama sleeping here is a bit too shady. No, but that's... Oh my, I think I just got even drunker. What? Oh, I get it! Miss Yaoyama must have been really tired from work. If that's the case, she should get some rest as soon as possible, right? Understood. I'll do my best to provide you with Omotenashi. Oh, Omotenashi? That's not the word I used to think. 
I hurriedly cleaned my house and prepared a bath and clothes for Miss Yaoyama. I changed the sheets and pillow covers while she took a bath. I got some aromatic oils as a gift, right? I'll give her some of those as well. Thanks for letting me use your shower. I feel a lot more sober now, so why don't we... Oh, I've already prepared your sleeping arrangements. Please. What? Oh, yeah. Thanks. W what? That's not what I was going for, though. I'm not sleepy yet. I see. It must be hard sleeping in a new room, after all. I'll put on some relaxing music. Th thanks. I, Yuyama Benny, am having a problem right now. What should I do? It's not going as planned. My plan was to get in a good mood for Kunigami and get in bed with him, but for some reason he's giving me Omotenashi. I can't give up. There's still a chance. Maybe he'll get into the mood once he takes a shower. I'm gonna take a shower as well. I'm gonna take a shower as well. All right. Oh, I was so nervous. But we're so close to finally being brought together. We weren't brought together? Apparently, I fell asleep while he was in the shower since Kunigami had prepared such a relaxing sleeping environment. Kunigami slept on the floor, huh? I feel so sorry. He's so cute while sleeping. Wait, don't get distracted. I need to come up with a new plan. Kunigami's honest, so he won't lay hands on a woman while she's sleeping. If that's the case, then... <sighs> I woke up to see that Miss Yaoyama was reading a book. Were you able to sleep well? Were you able to sleep well? Yes. So well that it makes me sad. It makes her sad? Well, I'm glad she was able to sleep well. Should I escort you to your house? Why don't we eat breakfast together first? Sure. Just like that, it was decided that we would eat breakfast together. Something about me felt itchy seeing Miss Yaoyama in the clothes I usually wear at home. Should I make lunch for you as well as a way of thanking you for letting me stay? You are going to cook for me? I'd love that! We ate lunch together as well. And for some other reason, I forgot we ate dinner together too. Why is she going to stay tonight as well? Convenience stores these days are so, well, convenient. They even sell underwear now. I bought some shampoo as well. Wow, they have everything these days. Huh? What was the reason she was going to stay tonight as well again? Miss Yaoyama was drunk yesterday, which is why I let her stay so I could take care of her. But she's completely fine now. My reason is being tested. Hang in there, me. Thanks for letting me use your shower again. Thanks. N no problem. All right, I'm going to take a shower as well. Oh, Miss Yaoyama's so arousing I've taken a shower. I'm impressed I was just able to ignore her yesterday. I took a shower and went back to my room. Miss Yaoyama was already in bed. Our eyes met, and I immediately looked away. Miss Yaoyama's in my bed! <sighs> Alright, I better go to sleep before I do anything strange. I leaned back my chair and prepared to sleep. Why don't you sleep in the bed? Won't that make your body hurt? I'm used to falling asleep while watching TV, so don't worry about me. Well then, good night. What? You're going to bed already? Yes. Oh, should I get the aromatic oils for you again today? It's not that. Ugh, it looks like I'm terrible at approaching people. I failed yesterday, and now I'm doing it again. What do you mean? I mean this. W what are the pose? Her face is getting closer to mine. Today's yesterday's overtime. What was the battle? Put it simply, it was the battle between me and your reason. What? Does that mean? Were you trying to make me lose reason then? I failed though. Hmm. <sighs> Work is so much easier than this. Romance is so hard. Romance? I don't think there's anything to be attracted about me, though. Hey, I fell in love with you, so don't say such things. It'll make me sad. Sorry, I, I, I just can't believe it, though. <laughs> I guess you must be confused hearing this out of nowhere, but I'm not going to give up. The overtime's just been extended even more. She's so cute. She becomes like a girl when it comes to romance. I'm getting nervous like a kid myself. My reason is about to fall, I think. What? I started feeling it fall apart since earlier, but after you told me what you just did, it collapsed completely. R really? To put it in your words, 
I lost this round of overtime. Uh, yes, I won! <laughs> She's so cool all the time. I never thought I would see her so overjoyed like this. Oh, it's not the time to celebrate yet. This means that you want to go out with me, right? Yes! Yoroshiku onegashimasu! I didn't sleep in my chair after that, and Miss Yaoyama stayed at my house the next day as well. Let's begin today's daily meeting. Miss Yaoyama's working at my house again today. She was so cute and acting sweet towards me until now, but she's also so cool when we're at work like this and she's my boss. S sorry, that was my roommate. A cat and a partner? Miss Mobutani's house must be a lot of fun. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like I need to get into work mode like Miss Yaoyama and Mr. Kunigami. What? Uh, us? Yes, I respect how you don't bring your private affairs into work. What are you saying, Miss Mobitani? Private affairs? I have no idea what you're talking about. There's no point in hiding anymore, you two. We all realized what was happening on Friday. <laughs> what? Yeah, Miss Yaoyama's blushing. She's so cute. S stop teasing me! Let's continue with the meeting, Mr. Mobiyama. Yeah, yeah, all right. Mm. She must not be used to things like this. Miss Yaoyama's face is red, and she's avoiding looking into the camera. It was so cute, I couldn't help it. So I put my hand on her arm while making sure it wouldn't be seen on our screen. Two years later, the two of us got married. Congratulations! You're so pretty, Benny. <laughs> thanks. Now that I think about it, it's thanks to these kids that Benny came to my house that day. Alright, I'll make sure to give you guys tons of New Year's money every year. What are you saying suddenly? By the way, the remote work at my company became optional, and I now go to the office. It's gonna be one year until I return to working from home, because we found out that Benny was pregnant. My name is Tomomichi Kaizuka. I'm a 23-year-old working at a sports goods company in the sales department. My boss that's sitting next to me has really helped me along. I'm back, guys. I've secured the deal with the Utah store. The Utah store? I didn't think we had any space to squeeze in. Yeah, on paper. I walked to the sales floors and asked them what they needed. The numbers are important, sure, but it's also important to put yourself in the middle of it, too. Y yes, Mom. Also here, this is from our clients. Wow, small lemon pies. Thank you, boss. Sure. This person is Kanai Ikuno. She's 26 and is my boss. She's a manager for now, but she's supposed to be promoted soon. She's kind of unresponsive and not very friendly. The way she talks can be cold too, but that's just her attitude. Here we go, Kaizuka kun uh, Thank you. Huh? Am I the only one with an apple pie? You don't like apples either? N no, it's not that. Okay then. Huh? What do you mean, either? Oh, wait, when I was new here. Dude, the lemon sours are half price! Are you okay with lemon sours? Sorry, I'm not good with lemons. No way, did she actually remember that right? And that's why she brought me something else? That would make me really happy. What are you, daydreaming? Get back to work. Mom! Kanaya Kuno isn't the kind of person that shows her kindness with her face, but through her actions. At first, everyone is always surprised at how cold she responds, but... The more time you spend around her, the more you understand her. That's why everyone loves her and everyone respects her. I am one of those people and I was so happy to be able to work around her as well. Then one lunch break, I was eating rice balls and finishing up something urgent. Uh, I got it. I'll take a quick nap. I learned that if you take a quick nap during lunch break, you work more efficiently from Akino-san. I'm going to take my earphones out and play napping music with a timer on it. Good night. It's been a little bit. I should wake up. <sighs> huh? Akuno-san is taking a nap too? Oh, she looks so good from the side. No, 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 I need to wake up! Huh? Where's my right earphone? Oh, there it is. And then I realized something weird coming from the headphones. Huh? A man's voice? I was listening to napping music. What's going on? It will be with you till you fall asleep. Good night. Ah! Uh, what? This voice! No way! Huh? What is it? Ah! Uh, Akuna-san, good morning. Where's my right earphone? Huh? There it is. Wait, it looks like mine, but it's not mine? Sorry, that's mine. Huh? I dropped mine too. I kind of picked up the wrong one. The wrong one? Where's mine? It's right here. Huh? 
I kind of put it on accident. Uh, wait, so you're telling me you're listening to what I was listening to? Yes. Uh, um, so sorry, I've lost my composure. I'm a fan of this person's voice. I see, I'm happy to hear that. Huh? Why is that? Well, that voice, uh, it's me. Huh? I'm the uploader, Kai. What? After work, we headed to a karaoke place. Thank you so much. Thank you for being alive. Oh, she's praising me so much. I just figured out I upload on YouTube. I don't upload my face, I just use my voice. Songs, small talk, games, things like that. I have a single avatar that I leave up. I still had a good 36k subscribers though. But when I found a job, I quit streaming. Thinking back now, I probably played the part up too much. It's kind of embarrassing to think about. And she's praising it. Oh, you don't have to be... Oh, you don't have to be so far, Kino-san. I cannot be any closer to you. I'm only happy to be in the same room, breathing the same air as you. <laughs> I, I did think you sounded an awful lot like him. I didn't expect you to be him, though. I mean, I changed my voice when I streamed. But, but you really surprised me. I didn't know that you were a viewer. Yeah, I was always watching under the username Onuki. You were basically my savior. Huh? When I just started out working here, I was really struggling. Huh? You? Yeah. I've always been really bad at expressing my emotions. I tried practicing laughing, but it's always awkward. I felt that there was a difference between bosses and employees, you know? Then I managed to run into your stream. I told you my problems and you told me. You know, after hearing all your problems, I feel like you're probably an incredibly kind person. Smiles aren't the only way you can express that kind of kindness, you know. As long as you move around and do things making sure to care about others, they will pick up on your kindness. Your words really saved me. Thank you so much. Kuno san I didn't realize you were Anuki-san. <laughs> He's recognizing me? I mean, you always sent me super chats and stuff. So she flipped her name and spelled it backwards. I was working like I had no soul after you stopped streaming, but I still sometimes listen to the archives to fall asleep, like sleep tight, Kai sleep ASMR night together stop reading off all my titles please uh um i'll send you a real life super chat so you can call me by my name huh i always call you akuno san N no with my username onuki san ah, my eardrums are so happy right now C can you sing this song sure what about whispering asmr that's a little embarrassing after that day i often found myself at karaoke with akuno san i started taking her requests it was never anything romantic, though. I would never fall for a star like you. It would be overzealous of me. That was her stance. Honestly, I was a little sad that she only wanted my voice, but that became my routine. If I can thank you like that, then that's fine. I continued this relationship. One night, I was at my house looking at my old archives. Let's see. Uh, I'll take some requests to read. Let me know if you have anything. Yeah, this hurts to watch. What am I acting so cool for? But so many people listen to me. I just didn't have the courage to keep going and stop streaming after I started working. That's why I quit. There's a request from Onuki-san. Let's see, wait. Thank you so much, Kai-kun. That's okay. You have no idea how special today has become now. Goodbye. Um, Akuno-san, here. Huh? Your birthday present. Eh? Yeah? You requested me two years ago. You said you wanted me to tell you something for your birthday. Yeah, yes I did, but... but... I already got a voice gift. I can accept a present. This isn't from Kai. This is from me. It's a present to Akuno-san, not Anuki-san. Eh? Uh? You said that I was your savior, but you're my savior too. I was so worried when I started working, but you always supported me. I still remember that. Kaizuka-kun, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Yeah, you don't have to be so uptight around me either. Yes, you are a fan, but right now, you're my boss at the same workplace. Right. Thank you. Huh? What's wrong? It's the first time I've seen you smile. Huh? Was I smiling? That's how we became regular humans instead of fan and streamer. She still had requests, but we often went out in private to hang out too. I think we both started looking at each other as potential partners. Then one day, Akuno-san was ordered to go overseas. To America? Yes, there were some troubles that the higher-ups weren't expecting and I've been chosen to fix it. Right, makes sense because you're such an excellent worker. I'm worried. Huh? I can speak English, but I know that communication is very key in the US. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, you'll be fine. It'll work itself out. When are you coming back? 
until the problem is fixed, I don't know how long it'll take. But she looked worried, but I couldn't say anything to really reassure her. The next month, she headed off to America without any idea when she would be back. I'm back. I'm so tired. I wonder when I can go back home. Huh? A text from Kaizuka-kun? A URL? Hello, everyone. It's been a minute. Huh? Two years? Three years? Whatever the case, I'm going to restart my stream. Wow, so many streamers. Hey, guys. I know there's some time difference. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, don't, don't mind that comment. I had a lot of reasons I stepped away from streaming in the first place, but I just kind of wanted to start streaming again. I just hope that my voice helps someone out. So anyway, I hope you guys are looking forward to me returning. My streamers might get bored because I'm an old man now. <laughs> Kaizuka-kun. Huh? Do I have a girlfriend yet? Are you really going to ask me that? I mean, I have someone I like now. No, no, don't congratulate me yet. I haven't told her yet. I want to tell her eventually. <laughs> I restarted my stream essentially for Okino-san. A lot of people were happy to see me return. Time flew by and in just one year, Okino-san solved everything and came back. She should be back soon. Kazuka-kun, I'm back. Well, Okino-san? Thank you for the year of kindness. I heard all of it. <laughs> I told you. Huh? Smiles are the only way you can express your kindness. You can express it with just your voice. Right. Then I want to tell you like this. Huh? I like you. Please go out with me. Okay. We finally started dating and in half a year, we were married. However, after we started living together, I continued to stream. I've already explained to all of my viewers that I got married. So yeah, thanks guys. See you all tomorrow. You're done with your stream? Yeah, I just finished. Now it's my turn. Whoa! I want to be the only one to hear your voice. Of course, I love you. Yo, are you going to work? Yep, you too? How unusual. I usually work from home, but I have to go to the office from time to time. It's such a pain. I have to do that every day, you know. You have my respect. Walking together to the station like this reminds me of our days as students. Yep, when I used to wake you up in the morning every day. I'm thankful for it. Thank you so much again for waking me up every day. I accept your gratitude. The one who can't hide not wanting to go to work is me, Alba Kamita. Her name is Sasara Fukumichi. She's a childhood friend, as you probably guessed. Apparently, our parents met in obstetrics and gynecology clinic. They were of the same age and got along, and they even lived nearby. Which means that Sasara was by my side ever since I can remember. We stopped playing together as we got older, but even at the age of 25, we still get along well. I'm grateful for a lot of things she did for me over the years, including how she wake me up from outside every day back in high school. However, it was when we were in elementary school that I was most grateful she was by my side. My mother passed away in an accident. It was Sasara who held my hand the entire time during the funeral while I was crying. She didn't try consoling me with words and instead just sat there by my side, which is probably the thing I needed the most of the time. You can talk to me whenever you want, all right? I'll help you guys with cooking or cleaning. I wonder if Alba will be all right. To think that she'd pass away at such a young age. Mom, hmm? teach me how to cook. Sasara, curry, omelets, and gyoza. Yep, let's practice cooking and make Alba the food he likes. Yeah, I'll do my best. I only found out that the food Sasara's mother always gave me, saying she accidentally made too much, was actually food that Sasara made several years later. Yep, I'm glad I had someone like her by my side growing up. I want to thank her for everything she did for me someday. But she still lives with her parents. But she's not going to live with her parents forever. You're not going to move out of your parents' house, Sasara? Why do you ask? My parents' house is close to my office and living with them is cheaper. I don't plan on moving out anytime soon. I see. Why do you look so relieved? Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> you're lonely because your little sister moved out, right? Oh, that's what you're talking about. No, I'm not too bothered about that. We're not that close anyways. Yep, I have a little sister. She's my stepsister, to be exact. The daughter of the woman my father married when I was in high school. It's not that we don't get along, but we're not as close as regular siblings. All right, see you later. Yep, good luck with work. You too. You should stop looking so sleepy before you get to your office, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's the first time we talked in a few weeks. She was pretty since we were young, but I think she got even prettier. She's probably popular with the guys at work. Oh, someone's texting me. Sasara? Why don't we go out for drinks today to celebrate meeting each other again? There's a beer garden at the park. Okay. Okay, I'll text you once work is over. Yes! I feel much more motivated now. 
Going to work isn't so bad if you've got something to look forward to after it, I guess. It was summer and there were plenty of people in the beer garden. We bought some snacks and some beer and sat down on an empty bench. What are you drinking? Schoferhofer. It's a beer with some citrus juice mixed in. Sounds good. Want a drink? Okay. Wow, it's so easy to drink. It's nice, right? <laughs> hmm? What's the matter? I remember how people used to tease us, saying how we were doing an indirect kiss. Oh, when we were in elementary school, right? We always shared cups, so I didn't know people normally don't do that. They teased us for being a couple, remember? Yep, we were so childish back then. Having a romantic relationship with an old friend is ridiculous too. Is it? Of course it is. We're basically family after all. I guess. I wouldn't go out with you even if we weren't childhood friends anyways. Same here. <laughs> 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 that was delicious. Drinking beer outdoors during summer is great. Oh, the sausages were delicious too. Yep, let's go again. Sakumi? Huh? Oh, hi, brother. This pretty woman is my stepsister, Sakumi. Her house is over an hour's distance from here, though. Why are you here? Mom and Dad told me to come visit. Were you on a date? No way. I just went to a beer garden with Sasara. Long time no see, Sakumi. Uh, hello. I don't like beer. It's so bitter. There were a lot of varieties that were easy to drink, though. What was the one you were drinking again, Sasara? Schifferhofer. It's half juice, so I think you'll be able to drink it, Sakami. Uh, maybe I'll go to one some other time. Let's get Dad to give us money. Seriously? I'm just joking. Uh, I guess I can't compete with family. Uh, finally, some relaxation. Going to the office today made me realize how easy working from home is. Oh, looks like Sasara texted me again. Ever since then, Sasara's been inviting me to dinner about once a week. I'm thankful because otherwise I'd be at home almost all the time. Why don't you come to our house next? My dad received a lot of shabu shabu meat as a gift, so you could help us use it up. Leave it to me! It's been so many years since I went to Sasara's house. I should bring a gift if they're gonna treat me to dinner. Huh? Oh, brother sent me a text. I'm going to Sasara's house for dinner this Saturday. I want to bring some sort of dessert as a gift. Do you have any recommendations? I'm the one he asks for things like this, huh? She replied, I'm glad to have a fashionable little sister. Umai bowl. Seriously? I trusted my sister and bought a ton of Umawi bao that Saturday before going to Sasara's house. I bought a lot of varieties, but is this really a good gift? I remember me and Sasara used to share snacks a lot when we were young. Look, Aoba! This Pocky stick is almost entirely covered in chocolate. You want it? Here! I didn't realize she was just being kind to me at that time. Elba's late. Huh? The house phone is ringing. Hello? What? Elba got into an accident? Sakemi! Elba's mom! You came, Sasara. Where's Elba? Is he alright? He just finished surgery. There aren't many external injuries, but he hit his head. And? Uh, hey, what happened to Elba? Is he alright? He's still in a coma. What? <laughs> Someone's crying. I wonder who it is. Huh? My body isn't moving. Sasara, we have to take some care of some stuff regarding the hospitalization, so we're going to go home for now. Is Sasara the one who's crying? What's happening? Are you going to stay here, Sasara? Yes. I'm going to wait until he wakes up. Sasara, don't push yourself too hard. I heard footsteps. Sakami and her mother must have left. Whose hospitalization were they talking about? What a strange dream. Please, wake up. The meat we prepared for today is going to rot. We bought some expensive vegetables from the department store as well. There are still so many things I want to do with you, Alba. There are still so many things we promised to do when we were kids that we haven't done yet. <laughs> Sasara? Is she talking to me? I... I want to kiss you, Alba. What? I want to be by your side more. I want to f***ing f***ing too. What the hell is she talking about? Is she trying to get Uda-chan's channel to monetize? I know! He might wake up if I kiss him. That's how it goes in stories, right? You're kidding, right? Uh, <laughs> Since when were you awake? Huh? Oh, what? What happened to me? Um, we need to call the doctor. I'll call the doctor, so wait here. Okay. According to what the doctor told me, I was hit by a car and bumped my head. That's why I was unconscious. I'm so glad it wasn't serious. It must be because I have good karma. I guess you're all right if you can still joke like that. It was decided that I would stay in the hospital for a few days to do some checkups. I'll come and visit you again tomorrow. 
Mom said that she would come, so don't worry about it. But I want to come. All right, thanks, then. I don't have anything with me, so I really won't have anything to do all day. Your phone broke, right? Oh, apparently a ton of umaibo got scattered on the ground. What was that about? Oh, uh, I'll just eat it later. After you're discharged from the hospital, right? See you tomorrow, then. By the way, I saw this really strange dream while I was unconscious. Like the Sanzu River? No, you were saying that you wanted to and and with me. Uh, huh? Bye! Don't run in the hospital! Wait, what? That wasn't a dream? I couldn't sleep that day. Not because my body hurt or the bed was uncomfortable, but because I couldn't forget how red Sasara's face was when she left. The next day, Sakumi came to visit. Sorry, I know you're tired from job hunting. Yep, Mom and Dad said they'll come here as soon as they're done with the paperwork. This is a phone I don't use. Oh, thanks a lot. I bought you some manga from the bookstore as well. Thanks. Shitoreshimasu. Oh, hello, Sasara. Hi, Sakumi. Hi. I brought you some things to entertain you while you're here. Look. What's this? What? A karaoke book? This is so nostalgic. You must have good taste bringing this. <laughs> It was hard getting my hands on that one, you know? I had to negotiate with one of my friends who works in a karaoke store. I'm sure the days are going to go by in a flash if you just sing some of those songs in your head. I'll go now. Alright, thanks again. Bye, Sekimi. Bye. I wonder what song I'll get. That's a famous one. You do it too, Sasara. Hmm, okay. Otome Kaibo. Are we only doing Vocaloids or what? This was a lot more fun than I thought. And before I knew it, visiting hours were over. Okay, see you later then. Thanks again for today. I wonder what I should do. Sasara was a lot more outgoing than normal today. She probably didn't want to talk about what happened yesterday. That means that she was serious, right? I wonder if I should just forget about it if she doesn't want to talk about it so much. Hmm. While I was being conflicted, Sakumi called Sasara over near the hospital's entrance. Hey, Sakumi, what's up? Were you waiting for me here? Yes, I don't have your contact information after all. Oh, that's right, I guess. Um, what did you want to talk to me about? I was so impressed by you today. I realized you know exactly how to cheer my brother up, which is why I'm going to give up. What? I'm going to give up because I don't stand a chance against you. He's pretty dull, but I guess you know that better than me. Good luck. Bye then. Suck at me. According to the checkups, I was completely fine. So I was discharged from the hospital as soon as they were done. I'm glad it was nothing serious. Thanks for coming every day, Mom. You're my son, so of course I came. You're making me blush. Oh, I better thank Sakami as well. Sasara too. Yep. I think I'll go to her house after this. Good idea. I should text her asking if she's home. She told me by text that she had already come home from work. Here's some fruits for you and your parents. Are you sure you're fine with giving us that much? Eh, it's just some gift I received from someone else while I was in the hospital. <laughs> That's rude. Where are your parents? Oh, they're still at work. Oh, they must be very busy. It's just the two of us. What are you gonna do, Alba? Will you talk about what happened back then? Uh, um... Y yes? Uh, uh, about the things I said while you were unconscious. W wait! Jesus! I suddenly got the urge to hold her in my arms. Her face is so red. I should be the one to talk next. There are a lot of things I want to do with you as well, Sasara. <laughs> like... And... And then... And then... I... I... I think you added one! But it's true that I want to do it! Pervert! Jokes aside, though, I'll be happy just to have you by my side. I used to think that you couldn't get into a romantic relationship with a childhood friend, but I realized that to me, you're also someone that I'm attracted to. Stop trying to sound cool. I guess there were after effects from hitting your head. Maybe. So, how do you feel? That's... <laughs> this is how I feel. <laughs> D don't laugh! That was so embarrassing. Sorry, you were just so cute. I laughed because I realized just how happy I am right now. A year later, me and Sasara got married. When the two of us were called in, I remember the conversation we had when we were in kindergarten. Uh, I want to be a bride. Apparently, there's magic that makes brides happy. We'll be happy together. The table for three should be served their main dish soon. Understood. I'm Kaokita Dutsu, 23. Ever since graduating from a culinary school, I've been working at a restaurant named Koto. The main dish is ready. Got it. The person serving the food is the owner, Kotone Ayagawa. Koto is a small restaurant with around 20 seats. It's a laid-back restaurant where you can eat lunch at noon and a full course at night. It's popular as well, meaning that people often have to make reservations to dine here on the weekends. We look forward to your return. Now that I think about it, 
Me being able to work here is a miracle. I was still a student half a year ago, and I hadn't found a job yet. Everyone's already decided on what they're going to do after this. Looks like I'm the only one in trouble. Ugh, getting a job is harder than I thought. I want to work in a small restaurant where I can see the customers enjoying the food. Well, there aren't many restaurants like that in the first place. Hmm? I smell something delicious. Let's take a look inside. Welcome. Please take a seat. Wow, what a pretty lady. Thank you for coming to our restaurant. Here's the menu. Hamburgers, omelets, spaghetti. Everything looks delicious. I'll have the special of the day. Understood. Here you go. Eat a dakimasu. Wow, it's delicious. I want to make food like this and make people happy as well. Ugh, why won't anyone hire me? Uh, uh, are, are you all right, sir? Yes. It's just that a lot has been going on, and could I talk to you about it? Sh sure. I don't know what to do once I graduate. It'd be best if I could find a job at a place like this, though. I see. I have a proposition. Uh huh? Why don't you work here? Uh, here? The current chef says that she wants to take more days off since she has to raise a child now. I'm currently looking for new stuff. I see. What do you say? I'd say this is a small restaurant where you can see customers enjoying their food. If you're willing to hire me, then please. Thanks. Let's start from April. Yes. Then I graduated culinary school that March and started working here from April. I've finally gotten used to working here, and recently I've even been helping to come up with seasonal dishes. I'm happy I was able to get a job here, but being able to work with Miss Ayagawa is the best part. I get along with Tamanaga, the waiter here as well, and sometimes we even go out for dinner. This might be the happiest I've ever been. The store closed and I started cleaning up the kitchen. That finished faster than I expected. Can I help you with anything, Tamanaga? I'm fine. Could you go check on the owner? She hasn't come back yet. Got it. Uh, I wonder what kind of flowers I should put near the entrance. I came to help you. Oh, thank you. What do you think, Tadotsu? I'm thinking of putting flowers here. Flowers? Sorry, I don't know much about flowers. What's your favorite flower? Hmm, what about sunflowers? It's gonna be summer soon. And sunflowers put people in a good mood, right? Sunflowers. Okay, I love sunflowers as well. Thanks for the idea, Tadotsu. Is it okay to just decide it like that? Of course it is. It's the secret to making sure the restaurant has a cozy environment. I see. All right. Could you help me carry this sign? You can leave after that. Okay. This Ayagawa is so pretty. What are you smiling about? Whoa! Oh, it's you, Tamanaga. You were thinking about Miss Ayagawa, right? Uh, it's so obvious. Not only is Miss Ayagawa pretty, but she's sexy as well. She's wonderful, right? The businessmen who come here regularly are definitely after her as well. What, really? Not only that, but the fact that she's a widow is so erotic for some reason. A widow? Oh, you didn't know? According to Tomonaga, Miss Ayagawa's husband passed away five years ago. They were planning on running this restaurant together, but he passed away before it even opened. She's incredible, making this restaurant so popular on her own. The Dotsu? I see. There's someone that's important to her, huh? There must be no room for me at all. Hey! The Dotsu! Are you even listening? One day, while I was cooking food as usual, the girls who worked as waitresses here suddenly came into the kitchen. Come here, Tadotsu! What's the matter? Look at that. The owner is talking to one of the customers? He comes here regularly, right? Yep. His name is Kaotake. His name is on the bill a lot, so I remembered. He's handsome, too. They've been talking for 20 minutes now. That long? We aren't busy right now, so it isn't a problem, though. Don't you think he could be bothering the owner? She does kind of look like she wants to get out of there, huh? Should I go and see what's going on? Yes, that'd be really helpful. Oh, wait! The owner's coming back! The owner had a calm expression on her face when she returned. Are you alright, owner? Yes, I'm fine. Was he hitting on you? No, we were just talking about the food. He was complimenting today's lunch. Good job, Tadotsu. Th thank you. But something was off about the owner's kind smile. One day, while I was going home from work, Oh, you're the chef who works at Koto, right? Y yes This is the regular, Kayodake, right? The guy who was talking to the owner for so long. <laughs> huh? Did he just sneer at me? You don't look like you have much money, so I guess there's no problem. What's he talking about? I was with Ms. Ayagawa just now. With Ms. Ayagawa? It was her day off today. She went on a date with this guy? Wait, no. Do you know what she said to me as soon as we met? 
She told me to give her money. Was Awagawa said that? Why would she- She originally planned on running that restaurant with her late husband, which means that having to run it on her own is pretty tough. That's why she asked me for help, because I'm rich. All I did was hint that I was interested in her, and suddenly she comes to me with this. I'm telling you, it's hard being popular with women. <laughs> you better watch out as well. Bye then. There's no way Miss Ayagawa would do something like that, right? The restaurant is doing well, and I don't think she's the kind of person who would just ask a stranger for money. This Kaldaki's jokes aren't very funny. I thought to myself and continued enjoying my job as a chef from the next day. Happy birthday. There. <laughs> I can't even read it. Uh, at this rate, they're never going to let me be in charge of birthday plates. This will blow up on Twitter if you swerve this. In a bad way, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to take a break outside to keep at it. Okay. <sighs> oh, sorry for being nosy. No, it's not that. I just started getting a headache when I looked at our accounts book. What? So was Kaudake telling the truth? No, I don't want her to be suspicious of the owner like this, so I, I'll just ask her. Can I ask you something, Miss Ayagawa? What's the matter? I met one of our regulars, uh, Kaudake, a few days ago, and he said you asked him for money since business wasn't going well here. Is that true? What? That's completely untrue. Even if you didn't ask Kaudake for the money, then is it still true that business isn't going well here? The expenses of running this restaurant must have gone up since last year, since you hired me after all. I said I got a headache looking at the accounts book earlier, but that's just because I hate having to do office work like that. That's why I was getting a headache. Not because business isn't doing well. We're not doing so poorly so as to not be able to hire new staff. I turned down Kaudake when he asked me out on a date recently, so he must have just lied to get back at me. Oh, I'm glad that's the case then. <laughs> You've been a real help around here, Tadotsu. So don't hesitate to tell me if you want a raise. Miss Ayagawa. I want to make this restaurant succeed no matter what. It was my husband who suggested that we start a restaurant. He's also the one who chose the name Koto. I was embarrassed, but he said that he wanted to give the name of someone important to it, since the restaurant was going to be important to us as well. I couldn't say no to seeing him smile like that. I like this restaurant's name. Really? I'm still kind of embarrassed about it, to tell you the truth. He passed away in a car accident just as the store was about to open. I was shocked, of course, when he passed away, but I've been able to stay strong until now thanks to the restaurant he left me. I see you love your husband a lot. Yes, I do. Does that mean that you're not going to look for anyone else anymore? Yes, I just don't feel like it yet. Then can I wait for you until you do feel like it again? What? I like you, Miss Ayagawa. What? I guess being surprised is only natural. I'm also surprised I was able to say it so calmly. I've been thinking that you're a wonderful person ever since we met, and listening to what you said just now made me like you even more. I'm younger than you and just graduated from college, so being told something like that by a kid like me might just be a bother to you, but please let me wait for you until you feel like getting into a relationship again. I, 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 I'm probably older than you, you know? You're not old. Well, time to get back to work then. I need to go to the convenience store quickly though. Uh, 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 all right. Wow, that was such a surprise. Hey! Oh, hi, Tomonaga. What's the matter? You look like you just got something off your chest. <laughs> you could say that. I feel refreshed because I finally said what I've been wanting to say for so long. Oh, I don't quite get it, but uh, I'm happy for you. After that, things went back to normal. Every day I make good food for our customers, clean up, and go home. It's the same thing almost every day. Miss Ayagawa treats me like nothing happened as well. And... Miss Ayagawa! Just some time after this? Sorry, I've got some things to do after this. Let's just go and get some dinner. I'll just eat some of the food you made in the kitchen. I kept inviting Miss Ayagawa to dinner and such almost every day. It's because even if she doesn't want to be in a romantic relationship with me, I still enjoy spending time with her. Unfortunately, she never says yet, but I haven't given up. Three months passed since then, and... It's your birthday next week? Yes! I can't believe I'm already 33! Let's throw a party for you in the afternoon! Great, Great idea. idea! It's alright! I'm not that age anymore. Okay, enough about my birthday. Her birthday, huh? I wanna give her something. Hey, let's go out for some drinks after work today! Sorry, there's something I wanna practice after work so I can't. Oh, okay! The next day. I'll be outside until the store reopens. Okay. And on another day. I'll be going now! Hey, he got away again! He's been pretty antisocial lately. I wonder if he got a girlfriend. 
I didn't know a rumor like that was spreading. And before I knew it, it was Ms. Ayagawa's birthday. Could you please accept this? What? You made this for me? I made her a cake for her birthday. I used ingredients I brought on my own, of course. I borrowed the kitchen's refrigerator, though. I practiced writing letters with a chocolate pen a lot this past week. It's not good enough considering I'm a chef, though, but I think I improved a lot. Oh, what I want to say is, I'll be glad if you ate this cake I made for you. Tatsu, don't you know that eating cake at a time like this could make you fat? <sighs> wow, that's delicious. It tastes so gentle. Thank you, Tadotsu. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. H hey, are you free this Sunday? There's some place I want to go with you. I'm free? Even if I was not cancel anything I had to do so that I would be free? I can't believe she's asking me out. Sunday came and Ms. Ayagawa came to the station with some flowers in her hand. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Okay. She brought flowers for an altar. Could it be that... I followed Ms. Ayagawa and... Just as I thought, we arrived at an altar. This must be your husband's. Um, can I start a relationship with this man behind me? I was attracted to Tadotsu, seeing how he remained affectionate towards me all this time, and how he always works so hard at work. I love you, but I love him as well. I know it's selfish, but I want you to forgive me. I wonder what he'll say. Maybe I'd be able to hear him if I was a medium. I'm sure I'd accept it. I'm gonna make sure that I become someone he can leave you with as well. Tadotsu, thank you. We started going out after that and eventually got married. The two of us discussed and we decided that we would throw our reception part at Koto. Our regulars and our staff all came and celebrated our wedding. We couldn't have been happier. Wow, you're so pretty, owner! <laughs> thank you. Tadotsu, I'm not gonna forgive you if you don't make it happy. Leave it to me. Hey, don't you regret marrying me? Of course I don't. I'm so happy I feel full. Oh? Does that mean you can't eat me anymore? That's... I can. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs>